Well, that's Ruther material today. Hi, I'm Andy Ruther. Let's look back and see how this all got started. Ruther Material Company was started by Andy and Johnny Ruther sometime in the early 1900s. Andrew, also known as Butch, got that nickname because his father was a butcher. One of Butch's early endeavors was working for the town of North Bergen, cleaning up horse manure from 91st Street to the transfer station along Kennedy Boulevard, although I think the street was named something else at the time. Sometime after, Ruther Brothers Contracting was born. Besides Butch and Johnny, there was also a third brother, Joe. What part each brother played in Ruther Brothers Contracting is a mystery. In 1925, Butch and Johnny leased land on the Hudson River. If only they would have built condos. Instead, they built Ruther Material Company. Sand came in on the river by barges and cement by train. They purchased cinders from the railroad, which they stored along Jersey Avenue in Hoboken. Since we know Ruther Material was incorporated on January 13, 1927, we think these clips are from around this time. Here's Butch putting in a hard day at the office. Somewhere around the 1930s, Ruther moved to its present location, 5303 Tunnelly Avenue. I wasn't around the early days when Ruth the first started, but I did come into the picture well before this photo was taken. In this photo, we have Uncle Bob, myself, Flyboy, Tommy Ruth, and Walter Marin. We had a five-yard ready-mix truck, a flatbed truck, and a dump truck that had five yards of sand. Back then, everything was done by hand. The blocks were made in a Tampa box one at a time. Then they were carried out into the yard and stacked. And back then, even collections were done differently. Here's Andy, Bob, and Butch with their collection hats on, going out to collect. The first form of uh, <clears throat> automation were these platform trucks. They carried the racks of blocks in and out of the kiln, but they still had to be loaded and unloaded by hand. Somewhere around 1960, slide-off trucks were being used. This uh, truck held eight cubes of blocks. We wrapped a cable around them. We slid them all down at one time and pulled the truck out. Put the cable back on the truck and went back to the yard. Used to make five loads a day with this truck. A few years later, we had a different type, a boom truck. Uh, my son-in-law, Ricky, decided to try to slide them off the side of the truck. Thank God he only tried this once. Automation also came in the form of block machines. First was the V3M, which would make three 8x16 blocks at a time. After that was the V3R, and now the present machine, the V312. With automation in the plant came the Cuber, but I think the people that worked on the Cuber may disagree. This model is fully automated, but 25 years ago, you had to turn, flip, and sometimes stack the blocks as they came off the conveyor. Hi, my name is Rick, I'm Andy's son-in-law. I worked on the Cuber like 30 years ago, and uh, I still remember what a nightmare it was. Um, whenever anybody took off that was working the Cuber, everybody dreaded it because somebody else had to do it. I remember having a panic button we used to press. The only problem with that is it was so noisy inside that nobody heard the buzzer, so 
the blocks would all back up. And then if you've seen Lucy on uh, the Lucy show at the candy factory, remember her stuffing the candy and, and sticking them out? You can't do that with cement and blocks. So it was a nightmare. Here's Jimmy Thomas, George Montecavo, Louis Merritt, Andy Sr., and Andy Jr. ripping out the old Cuber. This was a great day for many. Getting rid of old equipment meant getting new, which most of the time meant knocking something down. Here's Andy Sr. knocking down the old kilns. My father always seemed the happiest when he was knocking things down. I remember when they purchased the gas station where the present office now sits. Before the ink was dry on the deed, he was in one of the front end loaders knocking it down. For a man who made building materials for a living, he seemed to get an awful lot of pleasure out of knocking things down. Like any family business, we had our share of family members. Starting with my father, Butch, Uncle Johnny and Joey, my mother, Margaret, sister, Marge, brother-in-law, Bob, cousin, John, Tom, Joan, Mary, my kids, Lois, Andy, Doug, my nephew, Robert, son-in-law, Ricky, daughter-in-law, Louise, grandkids, Doug, Stephanie, and Peter, and don't forget, Mike, Nick, and Landy, who combined, they probably worked two days. I think we still have a few years to wait for Katie, Matt, Michelle, and Denise. There's only one Ruth that had never worked there, my wife, Eleanor and we hope someday we can find some place for the fit in. Over the years, the office has changed in shape and in location. The office started out on the Hudson, then moved to the center of the yard, and now sits in its present location on Tunnelly Avenue. Hmm, in every office picture, there always seemed to be some kind of party going on. Well, let's take a look at things today. Here's Lois to introduce the office. Hi, I'm Lois. This is my desk and this is my computer. This is where I pay bills and do payroll, blah, blah, blah. The real thing I want to talk about is how proud I am of my family and what they've done. My grandparents, Marge and Butch, my Aunt Marge, my Uncle Bob, and my father, Andy. They've built this business into what it is today. Without their hard work and sacrifices, we wouldn't be here. I hope we can follow in their footsteps. This is Bernadette, Stephanie, and Courtney. These are the girls that all helped me run the office. Now, this is Bill, our mainstay in the office. Hi, my name is Bill. I've been working here at Ruther for approximately 24 years. I had the great pleasure of working here with Bob Deal, as many of you know. And Bob taught me all the ropes about the business here. And uh, the only problem Bob had was he had a little difficulty remembering people's names when you first started to work here. So he would call me his Spanish boy. <laughs> <laughs> now, Ruth and Materials is not just about blocks. We also have a diversified line of Mason Materials tools. And come on with me and I will show you. Here's our line of bricks and culture stone, and here's our display of all our tools for our mason materials. And now let me turn it over to Rob. Thanks, Bill. Let's go down by the plant and see what's happening down there this morning. This is John Thomas, the man in charge. I'll let him tell you what goes on down here. Hi, we have a computer system which weighs up our aggregates on the second floor. They dump into the mixer. Then they come down through a conveyor into the block machine where the molds sit beneath. Then they go through the elevator into the kiln area. They push in the front at about 120 degrees steam pressure. And they come out on the opposite end. Then they come through the conveyor and they go out to the automatic cuber where they're then picked up by the yardman. Ruther has a full machine shop with a full-time mechanic where they fix anything from a flat tire to rebuilding an engine. Here's Ron doing a full brake job on Boom 106. We have three loading areas. Most trucks are loaded the night before for their first loads. Depending on their next load determines where they'll park for that load. The average Boom does about four loads a day and dumps five loads. On a daily basis, we get deliveries of sand, cement, and brick pavers. 
Sometimes we have as many as 10 trucks coming in with deliveries. Through the years at Ruth and Material Company, we made a lot of friends. We had a lot of good customers, our suppliers, and the people that work for us. We want to thank you very much for all the help you've given us. Little did John and Butch know, what they started 80 years ago would grow into what we have here today. Ruther Material Company, Incorporated. How the hell am I going to remember that? I made it up. You seem to get an awful lot of pleasure out of knocking things down. What do you think? One more time. That was good, though. Hmm. I don't even remember what I said. All right, we got to start off. <laughs> One more time. Thank you for all of you. Thank you very much. One more time. Come on. Come on, just one more time. This not breaking time. my balls. <laughs> not doing that on purpose. Down there this morning. Oh, come back, come back. Ah. <laughs> you don't have to go too far, but as soon as you say it, you leave. All right, yeah, I forgot. I'm thinking my lines, but I forgot. <laughs> I wait. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Hi, my name's Rick. Blah, blah, blah. Hi, my name's Rick. Blah, blah, blah. Hi, my name's Rick. Blah, blah, blah and made it what it is today. Deep breath. <laughs> How was that? Right. Just come with me and I'll show you. Am I in the background? You are now. <laughs> They're the ones that built this business and made the company what it is today. <laughs> built this business into what it is today. Okay. Let me introduce, okay, 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 okay. Don't rush. Now you all look up and wave at me, smile. There you go. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, okay. One take. <laughs> it was a nightmare. Fade to black. Ha <laughs> ha